Breaking her silence, a former JEA executive testified today in the criminal case against her former colleagues. Former interim chief operating officer Melissa Dykes taking the stand after refusing for the past three years to speak to city officials or the media about the failed sale of JEA. Former CEO Aaron Zahn and former CFO Ryan Wanamaker are charged with fraud and conspiracy for crafting a lucrative benefit plan linked to the sale of JEA. They have pleaded not guilty. Dykes testified today that she threatened to quit if the JEA board moved forward with a proposal to eliminate about 570 employees. The JEA board chose to pursue a sale of the city-owned utility rather than make those cuts. And you can follow our full coverage of this case at firstcoastnews.com.